Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our beloved. So I've been thinking of what I should do with the uh, with the dream that I had, you know. And um, I guess I should share it because that's why we're having dreams and visions and prophecies, right? So that others could know as well. And um, I just came on to talk a little bit about what Abba told me today about um, this morning, actually, where he said, don't, don't be, don't, don't, don't beat or don't, don't beat the ass or something like that. Don't beat the donkey. Okay, don't beat the donkey. It's a donkey, right? But I heard ass. Don't beat the ass to go where she doesn't want to go. Um, it takes us to the story of Balaam where Balaam was beating that donkey and that donkey did not want to go because the angel of the Lord was um, go where she doesn't want to go. So when I heard that, he said, um, there are certain things that are happening right now. Uh, it might be personal. It might be business. It might be, uh, it might be just... And so we have the lovely internet, right? So we just have to bear with it. But it might be, uh, it's hot here as always, but um, it might be personal, it might be business-like, it might be um, just a leap of faith. For example, maybe you had a surgery scheduled. Maybe you had a surgery scheduled. I'm just saying. Maybe someone had a surgery scheduled. And this thing came about, and then things got shifted, and... Before things got shifted with the, the lockdown and all of this that they're doing, something inside of you said not to. Something inside of you said, you know what, I'm not going to have surgery. Um, this word that came, it can be personal, it can be like a personal, it comes to decisions really, taking decisions. I remember we're always supposed to be discerning, we're always supposed to be... Uh, listening to the Holy Spirit and what he's saying but this this thing it's like taking decisions for yourself listening to the Spirit of God and not going against him so um, I, I hear be discerning be discerning be discerning so so Balaam on this donkey wanted to go his own way he wanted to go where he wanted to go and he didn't what was happening he wanted to beat the 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 crap of that animal he wanted to beat that animal because she didn't want to take him there some of us are on a path and we're on a journey or we're on uh we're on a uh, we, we have a goal we have a, a destination that we want to reach or you know and things are just stuck it is stuck why why is it stuck we have to sit, Abu is saying this, this was the word this morning. He said, you're going to have to sit and take a look at why things are stuck. Because God, God, God knows everything from beginning to end. He, he, uh, he, um, he, control, he doesn't control, well, yeah, he, he controls everything. But he, how to say He's orchestrating everything. Remember, he works all things for the good of those who love him. And if you're a child of God, then God is using whatever it is um, to use it for your good. He's bringing about something else thing that he showed me. Like someone ha was scheduled for surgery. And then this lockdown thing came down, uh, came about. And then the doctor started shifting, 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 dates, 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 shifting, shifting, shifting. And still, you haven't had surgery. God is saying to you, you know what he's saying to you? By his stripes, you are healed. They will not put a knife on you. Jesus himself is going to do the surgery. All right? So it's like that. It's like the, the donkey, the donkey in this case is doctors, no offense. But um, the donkey, the, 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 the donkeys, the donkey uh, is the doctor in this case. And the donkey kind of go forth. So he keeps postponing, 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 postponing. Something, there's something there that God is doing. There's something there that is beneficial to you. Maybe they don't have the right equipment. Maybe they don't have the right people. Maybe uh, 
something's not right with you at the moment to go through any kind of procedure hey maybe you're you're you got faith enough you're strong enough you just don't know it to be healed you just have to receive it by faith and god knows you as you have that faith so he's stopping the doctor in his tracks for a business venture now so if you're going to do business or you're you're planning to open a business or you're operating a business and you want to do an investment and then this thing happened where things just aren't moving you know you prayed about it you fast about it you you've been pressing on in faith and it's just not moving why why is it not moving maybe God is telling you it's a bad investment don't do it it's a bad move he's saving you from losing because he works all things for the good of those who love him all right that's in Romans somewhere is it Romans 8 28 is it I think okay so he 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 works all things for the good of those who love him that's God that's what he does all right that's who he is so for a personal decision personal decision might be marriage personal decision might be relationship personal decision might be uh, I don't know buying something like maybe purchasing a house or a car or something to you for example uh, maybe like a, a, a dress people are doing crazy shopping online right now I don't know why I guess they're just abusing the frustration of people and people are just overspending online so maybe so maybe let's say let's say someone wanted to buy a dress this dress is way out of budget they can do better things with the money they can they can do better things with the money and this this delay keeps coming up so let's say you have to pay on delivery or something or yeah let's pay, let's say you have to pay on delivery and this delay keeps coming it's keep, it keeps coming it keeps coming it keeps coming there's a delay and your products not getting there there's a delay and and you're just not able to make this purchase what's happening you don't need it God knows that maybe some things coming up where you're gonna need the money that you're gonna spend that you're gonna uh, remember he works all things for the good of those who love him do you love him his name is Jesus Christ do you love him because he's our my counselor and he's the one he's the advisor he's the author and finisher he's the beginning and the end remember he knows all things so this thing gets stuck man you ever saw here I am you ever saw anyone pray against the spirit of stagnancy sometimes it's a spirit of stagnancy yeah you're praying because you want to reach a goal but when God is doing it you know it's like you're praying and you're asking God give me an answer and you hear nothing you're like I'm still waiting on an answer you hear nothing because he already spoke right where did he speak he spoke in his word he spoke in your past he spoke in your experiences he spoke in prayer but you're asking God I want an answer and you're not getting anything and to you and to me it seems like we're stuck but God is doing something um, let me see another example okay let's think of a fire I know he's a consuming fire and everything but we're thinking of a fire that will burn okay so let's think of a fire let's think of a fire that can hurt us and let's think of ourselves as kids and let's say somebody put up a bonfire and we're there with like friends or family or something we're having a nice bonfire and let's say we're little kids just running around and they put up a hedge so the kids can't go over there and get burnt because kids are curious they like to pick up stuff they like to touch stuff they like to explore right some of us are like that 
Some of us like to touch, some of us like to explore, some of us like to pick up stuff, some of us like to get involved in things we shouldn't be getting involved in. God has placed a barrier, a hedge, and he's saying, this is not good for you, so I'm blocking you off of it. You know what I hear him saying? Come out of her, my people. Be ye separate. When God said, Balaam, Balaam, no. Balaam, no. You're not going to Balak or Balak, whatever his name is. Balak or Balak. You're not going to Balak. I don't want you cursing the children of Israel. You're not going to. Don't do it. Balak comes and he says, Ooh, I'm going to give you treasures and a house full of treasures and everything else. And Balaam says, Okay, I'm selling my donkey and I'm going. And then the donkey stops. God is saying, when I put up a block, it's for your good, and you have to trust it. The commandments of God, I hear you, Papa. The commandments of God is just like that. Some people say, oh, you know, it's done away with. The commandments are done away with. The commandments are fulfilled. They're fulfilled in Christ. Do you know why? When we receive him as the Holy Spirit, what do we get? Ah, we get the commandments. We get the power or the, the grace, or the spirit of the commandments in us, which is Jesus Christ. So, the commandments is like a hedge. And it's there for whose safety? Who's it going to benefit? It's benefiting God. Who's it benefiting? It's benefiting us. The commandments are there to protect us from things, all right? The commandments... Um, we know we know the ten of them, but the commandments are there to protect us. What is, what is the world trying to do right now? The world is trying to dissolve the commandments, remove it from us. All right. So where it was in the courtrooms and wherever they would they would place the commandments. Where did they place the commandments? Wherever they place the commandments, ah, it's so warm. Where they would place the commandments, they're taking them off in schools and all of that. Why? Because Satan is he's 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 pushing the world into lawlessness. You see, God is a God of order. He likes things done in a certain way, and if you don't do it in a certain way, then you pay the consequences of that. And the world is becoming a lawless place, and it's already a lawless place. People are marrying dogs. People are marrying their siblings. There, there's so much craziness going on. People are becoming animals. They're trying to transform themselves into animals. They're trying to be robots. They're marrying bridges. They are. They're, they're, there's so much. There's so much nonsense going on in the world right now. It is becoming more and more lawless. The commandments are there to, to keep us in a safe zone. Just like when God says, hey, Adam, hey, Eve, I have this tree in the middle of the garden. Don't eat from it. Satan comes along. God is a party pooper. What? God is a party pooper. He doesn't want you to know. He doesn't want you to know that you're going to be like him. What? Yeah, you can eat from all the trees, but that one you can't eat from. What? But it's right there. Look at it. Touch it. Smell it. Taste it. Uh oh. Too late. What did God say? Don't touch it, at least you die. If you touch it, you're going to indulge. The world, see, that was there for a protection. It was there for protection. God loved his creation. He loves his creation. He loves us above everything. He loves us, but whew, I'm really sweating. God, God loves his creation, but do we love God? That's the question. You know, when I was looking for a way to, I always tell you guys this, when I was looking for a way to, to love back on Jesus, when I found out that he is Father and he's loved me with this extravagant love that I can never repay I was like father is there any small way that I could love back on you and I found if you love me keep my commandments what you just say if you love me keep my commandments 
obey my commandments. If I love you, keep your commandments. That's how I can love you back. Done. All right. So it was it was a beautiful. It, God God knew that we would come to that point, and the world is coming away from that point. The world is saying, hey, hey, no, don't love God. Don't love the Creator. Love Satan. That's what the world is saying. Because the world loves the things of Satan. Remember Jesus said, Satan, you are not mindful of the things of God. You're mindful of the things of men. What are the things of men? The things of men are the flesh and all that. So, the world loves the things of the flesh. But the Spirit loves the things of God. And... I was going to say that right so so god kept us in uh it wasn't to keep us away from the party it was actually to bring us to the party you know uh it's like there's a let's say someone's having tea i know it's kind of okay let's say someone's having a small get together right here and it's all well and good but then you get invited to a bowl but you can only choose one. And at the gathering, there's going to be drinking and there's going to be sex and there's going to be drugs and there's going to be verbal abuse and there's going to be fights and probably someone's going to get stabbed and all of that going on there. Ooh, they call that a good time. You know, got so wasted, so stoned, right? Wrong. Okay. And then at the ball, man, at the ball, they're dressing you up at the ball. They're putting a crown on you at the bowl. They're, you're you're going to have a fine time. You're going to have wine and champagne. You're going to have a lot of royal treatment at the bowl. All right? But you can only choose one. And instead of going to the... Well, you decided, hey, the, God, like the bowl is such a boring thing. Ah, who wants that? It's like saying, who wants heaven? It's so boring. What do they do there? They worship and they they they, they pray. And what, what else do they do there? Who wants heaven? I want heaven. So you're saying, oh, no, the bowl's boring. You know, it's for, for, for probably for old people or, or just people who don't know how to have a good time. Wrong. See, the things that were coming, gathering, the small gathering there, you didn't pay attention to it. And you decided to go your own way. So you chose that path. And before you know it, you're in trouble. You're in places you shouldn't be and you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. And then at the bowl, people are receiving beautiful gifts and just having a bowl of a time. No pun intended. You know, they're having a good old time. And at the gathering... You're having everything that you should now. But you're feeling good because you're rebelled, right? So Father comes along and he says, you know what? Don't go to the gathering. Don't go to that little gathering there where the, 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 the party of the world is. No, no, no. He says, I want you to go to the ball. I want you to get ready to go to the ball. I want you to go to the ball. Okay, so, and then you decide, well, you know best because... We just, we love to, we love to go against God, right? When he speaks. So, what's the, uh, the house gathering? And lo and behold, you get delayed. The car shuts down. Um, so many things are happening. The, the, you cannot, like, you can't seem to get there. And it's like, what, why can't I get there? What, God is in it. What is he doing? He's protecting you. you. Why? Me. Why? Because he loves us. Because even though in our heads, we're like, we know best. Nah, nah, nah. God is saying, no, I know best. And that that is not for you. That is not what's best for you. So, the, the beating of the donkey is like... It's like forcing. It's like forcing that will not move ahead, or you know, because God is in it. 
God said no, but you're looking for another answer. God said yes, but you're looking for a no. You know, it's like that. So, that was the message this morning. And uh, it wasn't elaborate or anything, but it was soul. And it did impact me in a big way. Um, as well as uh, about this rapture dream. Um, well, I guess I should say it out here now while I'm here, right? Or should I come on and say it again? Okay, so here we go. So I was dreaming. I fell asleep. And I was dreaming. I was in a deep dream. And I was dreaming that I was dreaming. And I was dreaming that I was um, portioning out flour, rice, and milk um, in portions to give to people. I don't know why those three. Flour, rice, and milk. And um, in a hurry to do it, like I... There was an urgency in my spirit that people needed it. And I was just in a hurry to do it, so I was just doing it. Like I bought it in bulk and I was just pushing it out and everybody was getting some, you know. So, in my dream where I was dreaming, I mean that was deep. I told you I was dreaming that I was dreaming and that just kept me into a deep sleep. So, um, okay, so after I did that, um, there was a, there was a sound, there was a sound, there was a sound like uh, the crackling of fireworks. I didn't get it yet. And then when I listened again, I heard the shofar. And then when I listened again, I heard dun, 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 like that, like, you know, like it was ringing, it was sounding over, over, it sounded like it was sounding right in your your air if someone was blowing a, a horn right in your air or a trumpet or a tuba or something but i heard that and then i saw like well i sat up so i'm on my bed not in my dream that i'm dreaming i'm awake like i woke up so i heard the shofar and then i heard the horn and then I woke up, so I'm sitting up now, and I'm having an open vision, and I see, um, I'm looking through the curtains, I haven't moved a muscle, I'm sitting on my bed, and I'm looking through the curtains, and I'm seeing this white, bright light, like a bright light flashing in distance, and I see, well, through the curtains, and it's coming clear, it's coming, it's coming no like something in my spirit no so i'm like i'm seeing this closer it's like it's 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 like it's stretching out from one end to the other it's like um like a like a mist but a mist with light so i'm just seeing this light just and he let me see like, well, it was angels and saints going in all directions. It was his glory shining from one side to the other. And I'm sitting on my bed and I'm staring here. And I did not move a muscle. I didn't even, that's not like me. Normally I run to the, and move the curtains and say, yay, Abba. You know, I'm sitting there. And I'm not sure. At first, I'm like hearing the crackling sound. You know, like when they pop the fireworks in the sky and it goes kind of like that. So it goes like that. And I see like stars. How do I explain this? I see like stars, but they're not in they're not in the sky, but they're like lifting off. So I see orbs of light just lifting off. And I realize it's people. And then that he's coming closer, the light's coming closer, and I begin to see that it's Jesus. Okay? And I see, I still see stars going up, and I hear a crackle. Every time the stars hear a crackle. So then I'm sitting and I hear the neighbors. I hear people outside and they're screaming, It's Jesus! It's Jesus! It's Jesus! You know? Okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, be raptured. I'm sitting on my bed and I'm staring 
And I'm like, Abba! But I'm not screaming. I'm like quiet in my person and I'm just, I'm, I'm quiet in my spirit and I'm sitting there and I'm just, wait. I don't know what I, I was, I was just there and I'm like staring out the window and I'm like, Abba! Like that, you know? I'm excited inside my spirit, but I'm silent inside my spirit at the same time. And I begin to see like my fingers to my, 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 like about mid, like here, turning into like, like a, like a shine. It just started, to, I didn't even notice, but he showed me myself, if that makes sense. He showed me myself. So, I, I saw like from my fingers to my mid arm, it was becoming like a shiny, I, I don't even know what to describe that as, like electricity from your fingers to your arms, but it's not really electricity. It's like a shiny, kind of glowy, it's a shiny glowy, a shiny glowy thingy is happening from here to my arms. And I'm not paying attention. My eyes are on him. And I'm, I don't, I realize the rapture's happening. I'm like, am I going to be raptured? Am I going up? And I'm like, Abba. But at the same time, his name is on my, I, so many things are happening at once because I'm calling you sh Jesus. Sh Jesus. But I'm like screaming. And my hands begin to change myself from here so I see myself there and I'm like I'm like I'm I'm changing I'm changing my arms are changing then I see my chest changing my neck and then I see like this electricity vibes go up my face and over my head and I don't I don't remember what, what but I just remember changing like that like I'm changing and um yeah and it was preparing for flight and then of course i woke up i think that was it i think that was the end of it i woke up so um it was one of the first i've had open visions before i've had visions on uh like during sabbath worship and stuff but like or worship but like this there was something about this I could not explain I never saw myself really changed I never saw myself like shiny sparkly or like with electricity or whatever you want to call that thing that was happening I never saw myself like my hands changing or my chest or my neck or my face and it was I was actually becoming light I was becoming an orb of light or a light. I was becoming light shiny electricity light and I'm just Jesus I didn't even move to move the curtain or anything and you know that song who he brings a song into my mind now um, will I dance before you Jesus or will I be still um, I go again I hear it I hear it I could only imagine I could only imagine yeah so you know when that will i be still or will i dance before you will you kneel or will you shout for joy like well in my instance i was just so still <laughs> i was frozen in time on my bed just staring out and saying and calling him by name was so that I was dreaming and then I woke up and then I woke up and then I'm having open vision that was deep 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 so I just wanted to share that with you and uh, so yesterday would have been the 28th of April but it would have been what time 2 39 a.m. the 29th of April 2020 tell you that the Lord is coming soon. He is on his way. He is waiting for uh, the appointed time that he spoke. That's all he's waiting on. He's coming for a ready bride. He 
He's coming. He's coming back, beloved. He's coming. Get ready. The King is coming back. He is coming back. Hallelujah. So, this is your spirit and this is something to bless your day with or bless your night with god knows exactly what's going on in this lockdown he knows exactly why it's happening he knows what he's doing and he knows what the devil's up to and all of the people who are working in the background thinking that nobody knows but god knows god knew what the devil was up to before the devil was even created god knew what Satan was up to before Satan knew what he was up to and God had a plan and God has a plan he's the beginning and he's the end he's the Alpha and he's the Omega he's our creator and he's our Savior and he is coming back soon get ready to meet the King amen so I'm leaving you with this I hope that it encouraged someone I hope that it touched someone um, and just that you bless someone else with the message. Tell them that Jesus is coming back very soon for a ready church and a prepared bride. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb and be filled up with the Spirit of God. And if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, right now it's your moment. It's your time. Right where you are, close your eyes. Or not. Just close your eyes in your spirit then or be still in your heart and say, Lord God, I come to you a sinner. I'm sorry that I didn't come sooner, but I'm here now. Father, I'm grateful that you loved me. I'm grateful for the grace that you gave to me. Lord Jesus Christ, wash me in your precious blood. Wash away my sins and my iniquities. Wash away my unrighteousness. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Make me your child. Be shepherd and Lord of my life. Say, I, I receive you now, Jesus Christ, as my personal Savior. That means whatever you went through in your life and going through in your life, Jesus already been through it. He's walked through it and he's already given you victory in it. So just say, I receive you, Jesus Christ, as my personal Savior and my Lord. I confess you now, Jesus Christ, as God. Say it, come on, just say it. I confess you as Lord God. Because he is. Some people can call him Lord. Some people can't call him God. It's a beautiful revelation. Just say it. He'll bless your heart. And just say, I forsake everything that will keep me away from you, God. I forsake every religion and every tradition. I refuse to go back where I came. I refuse. Keep me looking forward. Keep me walking towards you like a bride on the altar, on the way to the groom. In Jesus' name, our beloved, if you said that prayer, I'm going to pray for you now, and God's going to fill you up. He's going to touch you in an amazing way. Get ready. So, Father, you said in your word that if we believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouth that you are Lord, Jesus Christ, we shall be saved. Father, you said that the word is near us in our mouth and in our in our heart and and that's exactly what these people however however many it may be that's exactly what they did they took this one moment out of their their lives to confess you because they believed in their heart and lord i'm asking you now to fill them up with the fire of your presence ignite their hearts and make them children of you yeah father Pour out your spirit upon them. Renew their minds. Make them, give them clean hearts and a right spirit. And lead them in the way you show them, Father. Holy Spirit of the living God, just fall upon your people now. Where the blood is washed, the spirit can sanctify. Where the blood is washed, the spirit can fill. 
Ruach HaKadosh, Boruach Lohim Adonai. Fall upon your people, Father. These are your vessels. In your name, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh. We love you, Papa. I just speak healing to every one of them that were ailing because they took the time to receive you. I just speak victory in their lives. Whatever they're facing, there are brethren around the world that are facing serious persecution. If they go for a walk, they're murdered. If they, uh, they're, 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 they're really being persecuted. They're, they're being taken out. And just because it's not happening like that in our country doesn't mean that we won't sorrow with you. We are standing with you. The Bible tells us that when one sorrows, all sorrows. When one rejoices, all rejoices. Because the body of Christ is one. And we are one with you. And we're standing with you. Whatever you pray in the name of the Lord at his will, we are standing in agreement with you. And Father, we just pray for the persecuted church. We pray, Lord God, for it. Um, just your people, Father, who are being persecuted for your namesake. We pray for them right now. We lift them up. We pray that the strength, like you said, they'll mount up with wings of eagles. We pray that that strength comes upon them, Lord God. We pray that that same strength that was inside of Stephen comes upon them. Jesus' name. The strength that Father, we pray that strength upon them. You said not one would be lost. We just claim you your word. Thank you. Receive all the glory, the honor, and the praise in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Our beloved, amen. That's it. All right, so that's the word. Don't beat the donkey to go where she doesn't want to go. And, um, that's your dream. Yep. All right. So God bless you. Brother Robert, God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.